Definitely important to have a coffee before you have coffee, to be not too aroused, but just enough for peak performance. I've already had breakfast, <laughs> just in case it's not good. So we're here in Darlinghurst in Sydney, Australia, and we're going to have breakfast with Anthony Lister. I don't know what he's going to cook. As long as it doesn't cook paint, it should be okay. We used to play table tennis. You want to sit down? For pieces of bacon. Oh. For pieces of bacon? What does she get if she beats you? She always beats me. She gets um, another notch in her belt. Um, I don't. Checkmate. Ish. Check, wait, wait, wait. How do you do it? Oh, I think I just got you, dude. That was the quickest game of chess I've ever seen. Do you have some tattoos that he did? Oh yeah, so this one and it. Which is one of his own pieces. And he helped me with this one. It looks bad, but it was worse. It said thump on it. <laughs> me and later found out it means when two on their period are So I had to get rid of it immediately. <laughs> and turned it into a dog. So this is the kitchen? Yeah, this is where the magic happens. It's the peanut butter special. <laughs> Here you'll see there's some plates with um, some family portraits on it. This is Lola. Some oat milk. We need some bananas. Like this, you know, a bit of toast and... Tip top as well. This is a great choice. Is it? So that's a bit of product placement there. We'll be sending the invoice later. Stop already. You know what I learned when I was shooting the Bonds commercial? They, um, you put the tip top down the guy's pants. <laughs> Are you, you serious? For underwear commercials, yeah. No way. Oh, what? what, to beef them out? Yeah, to smooth out and so there's no lines. Oh. So mean, that's why I haven't, seen, mean, I haven't seen tip top. You mean they put a piece of bread in their dip? Yeah. All right, so between the vodka and the frozen milk. Why would you? I do it because I because I don't want it to stink in the, in the bin. What's that smell? Yeah, that, that happens to me a lot. Anyone under the age of 10 usually gets a triangle. Yeah. My mum would cut, yeah, down the middle and it would be a rectangle and it would just be like, meh. It's more stylish or something. I always feel bogan when someone cuts something square. This is the classic Australian setup. That's a, that's a real deal. So I'll just, chuck, I'll just chuck one in for a bit of texture, you know? Should we do the honours of that button? Thanks for having us in your kitchen. Oh, that's okay, yeah. It's, uh, it's the only room that's, um, you know, for eating. Can you do the monkey bars? Oh no, I, I can't do anything with my arms. I'm actually not even allowed to have you see my hands because I'm actually in the middle of painting. Why? Because they're just dirty? No, it's a, it's a, it's a sacred thing. You got a drop on him, like a drop bed. She's got a drop on me. Yeah, yeah hold on now. So let's take the um, smoothies upstairs. Okay, and we'll just we'll do something dignified in the nice room. How's that? Oh, hey! Yeah. This is the dignified area. Yes, yeah, little little chill out area. My grandma painted that painting of Will Smith right there, and when I saw it, I said, "Grandma, do you know who that is?" And she said, "That's a very attractive young man." <laughs> she cut him out of a magazine, and she was compelled to paint him. Fascinating. This is a print uh, by Adam Cullen that uh, Chopper Reed gave me. I don't hang any of Chopper Reed's artwork because it's quite vulgar. I mean, I could show you. No, 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 I don't know. What is it? One of them is called Fuck You Picasso, and it's like this headless, armless prostitute with her legs open, and it's really off its head. Well, it, it, I mean, I, we were pen pals for many years. Yeah, right. So this is um, one of his drawings right here. some of our letters together. Let's just, uh, let's just do this one. Anyway, little brother, as I do see you artistically speaking as the bastard son of me and Adam Cullen, if we were both to screw Sidney Nolan up the arse, <laughs> we, would, we would awake one morning to find you sitting there, finger painting. Any drawing you send me from now on, I will have them framed and I will give them to my wife to put away. I won't sell them <laughs> anymore, right? <laughs> 
And he died, like, he died actually before I received this letter. So this could actually be his last piece of writing. Yeah, I, I was actually 11. Um, this is after we did Speed off the toilet and um, we were driving to the pub and he hit about three parked cars on the way down there. Right. And uh, that's that. Ring. Yeah, I've got lots of stories to tell, but you know, you guys have got a big day and I've just woken up.